randonneuring and other long distance events uh, have different sets of demands compared to regular link cycling events and casual rides like many of us are used to. For these kinds of events, we might not be familiar with the sustainability required with things related to sleep, nutrition, pacing, and our topic for today, which are six tips for body care on ultra long distance events. Our first tip today starts off pretty simple, and that's to apply sunscreen before the ride begins. Many brevets start before the sun comes up, and riders often don't apply sunscreen until later on in the day after they've already accumulated some sun damage. So by applying sunscreen before the ride begins, prevent that damage from beginning to build up from the start of the day. However, sunscreens like this don't last all day long. For riders who are used to riding less than eight hours or so, you might not be used to reapplying sunscreen. So it's a good idea to carry a small travel size bottle so that you can reapply at least once and maybe twice per day during long events. Tip two is also a pretty simple tip, and that is using chamois cream. With chamois creams, no matter how nice and expensive they are, I found that they don't last more than four or five hours, and that's not suitable for rides of 200K or longer. Reapplying chamois cream at least every 100 to 150 kilometers, or every four to five hours or so, really helps prevent any damage from happening down there. Just like with sunscreen though, you're gonna to want to carry some extra, but the regular size bottles are not suitable for carrying on the bike. So instead, a small tub like this allows easy access to the cream and also doesn't take up too much space or way too much to carry on the bike. With lots of cream and crotch sweat on our hands, it's a good time to move on to tip number three, which is to just wash your hands and wash your face. Over a long ride, your face will get covered in sweat, which includes a high concentration of salt. That salt can drip down into your eyes, causing vision problems, and it stings a good bit too. After you've put on a bunch of creams and end up wiping sweat away from your face and getting chamois cream and crotch sweat in your eyes. So instead, try to find a proper restroom or spigot uh, to fully wash your hands and face with water. If those aren't available, it's good to carry some hand sanitizer, here again in a tiny travel size bottle, uh, to keep your hands as clean as possible. Going back to the face for tip four, I recommend SPF Lip Balm. Many regular chapsticks don't include sun protection as part of their formula, and over days of incurring sun damage on the lips, our lips can get swollen and it will sting when we eat food. Make sure that your chapstick or lip balm has SPF. Tip five for body care isn't actually related too much to the skin. Instead, it's related to the feet. The feet swell over long periods of time and in hot conditions. For that reason, I recommend uh, lacing up or tightening shoes so that they're a little bit loose at the start of the ride. After your feet swell up, they'll fill in that space quite nicely. So keep in mind that the feet you start with are not the same feet you finish with. Our sixth and final tip is to care for your body's hygiene. Uh, the demands for that are different, again, on a long ride compared to a normal distance ride. You'll be accumulating a lot more sweat, a lot more salt, and also a lot more dirt all over your body, causing friction. This friction eventually can result in saddle sores, which are at risk of infection, especially over multiple days. On overnight rides, I highly recommend finding a sleep spot where you're able to clean off, hopefully in a shower. This allows you to get fully clean, give your body some time to rest and recover. It's also a good chance to clean off your clothes. The clothes soak up all that sweat, bacteria builds up in the bibs, and if you're putting that right on bare skin or open wounds the next day, that's a recipe for infection or at least discomfort. Long sleep, like I mentioned in my video on sleep, will allow your cycling clothes some time to dry in the hotel room, even if they don't have laundry facilities available. I hope you found these six tips useful, but if you have your own ideas, please leave them in the comments below. The comments have been an excellent resource for this channel so far, and I'm looking forward to hearing what you have to say. Long distance cycling is a completely different animal than the regular rides that we're used to, and we should treat our bodies accordingly. I hope after watching this video that you're able to do that and better enjoy your rides. Ride safe, everyone, and see you in the next one.